legitimate scholars, archaeologists don't, n nobody thinks the Shroud of Turin is real. Now, I said this on Mysteries of the Faith on Netflix. Whether or not something's real, authentic, historical, whatever word you want to use, doesn't mean that people won't find inspiration in the symbolism or the suggestion that something's real, right? Whether mm -hmm. it's a placebo effect or whether something doesn't have to be real in order for it to send the mind uh, to thoughts of the heavens, right? To send the, right. send the mind to thoughts of the divine. So, I mean, I, it can be something benign, right? This pen might be very meaningful to me because it was given to me by my great grandfather. And, you know, it, it, there's nothing holy about it. But when I see it, it reminds me of him and it sends me. It, it doesn't have to be a historical artifact. So I say this in the show the Shroud of Turin is inspirational to many people because when they see it, they're reminded, oh, Jesus was buried. Uh, he had a cloth. Despite the fact, despite the fact that John chapter 20 says there were more than one linens. There was the linen that wrapped his body and the linen that wrapped his face, which was set aside separately. So the Shroud of Turin doesn't even follow the gospel account, right? John 20, this is the first seven verses of 20. Uh, let's look at verse 4. The two were running together, but the other disciple outran Peter and reached the tomb. He bent down and look in, to look in and saw the linen wrappings, plural, lying there, but he did not go in. Simon Peter came in following him, went into the tomb. He saw the linen wrappings lying there and... The cloth that had been on Jesus' head, not lying with the linen wrappings, but rolled up in a place by itself. So according to the Gospel of John, there were two separate pieces of cloth, one for, I guess, the body and one for his face. The Shroud of Turin is one piece covering everything. So, so you know, someone will claim, well, those were the wrappings that were on his body, and then this, play, this piece was... You have to start making up these apologetic stories mm -hmm. to try to make this make sense. Oh, and by the way, that's not 14th century ochre, right? This isn't paint. It's the blood. And uh, the the it was very special imported cloth from Europe. To Yes. It was the the importance of the burial. There's that's when all of these things right. start to come in a stack. And yeah, we've got multiple shrouds. That's not a bad thing. This can support because now, hey, we have claims of shrouds more than just this one that might be bearing the face. And so we have the the double wrap, the triple wrap, the the over how many, how many of them do we want to stack up? Well, I guess maybe as many as we need. Keep in mind, you mentioned multiple shrouds, not just multiple shrouds in the tomb. The Shroud of Turin isn't the only shroud claiming to be a shroud of Jesus, right? We have the Shroud of Oviedo in Spain, which is which purports to be that face cloth, that facial shroud. And it you can look at that one. That's more of a Rorschach test. You're looking at that going, Okay, I guess I can see where it, it touched his eyes, but they claim that that was the one that John 20 talks about as being the face cloth, whereas the rest of it was the one that was on the body. And then there's the Manapello uh, image. And that one is to me, I mean, the, the, and we can show it here that the image, um, it looks like a portrait painting and, you know, it, it, it doesn't look like, you know, something that it just looks like a painting. And of course, this one goes back to the tradition, uh, of Jesus. It's, I think it's one of the stations of the cross, right? On the Via Dolorosa where, where there's a, uh, somebody wiping the face with a, a piece of cloth and, and this goes in. You have these different traditions. There are more than one shroud, right? There's mm -hmm. the Shroud of Turin, but then there's Oviedo, and then there's Manapello. And so there are lots, most people don't know this, there are lots of places that claim to have one of these pieces of cloth that was associated with a burial of Jesus that bears his image. Which and is the the ticket, because everybody wants why the shroud. The grail gets a lot of attention, nails get a lot of attention, 
but there's just something different about is this right that question is this the face correct is this the face of jesus and that's because our brains work this way we talked about this again going back to the mount of all thing our brains have a, a very special it sits right above the ear here a very special facial recognition software it's built into our brain and it helps us not only identify people, but to determine, are they angry? Are they coming at us mad? Are they friendly? It's why smiles and frowns and all that stuff are so important. It's it's part of the fight or flight mechanism. It, it helps mm -hmm. us identify people, whether they're friend or foe, and whether we should get out of town if they're coming at us. And so the faces are the things that we tend to see. It's it's when we're when we're looking at the clouds. Hey, is that a face? We're looking at a tree bark. Is that a face? Our brain wants to identify faces because faces are the things that are you know potentially going to kill us the worst, right? It could, is that a face of a person that a predator that's going to kill us? It, it sounds weird, but that's how the psychology. That's how we've evolved. The, we're looking all the time for faces, and if this is face of Jesus, oh right. my gosh. Right. That's is he is he looking upon us? Am I looking upon the face of Jesus? And now they're taking this thing and plugging it into AI. You do what you gotta do. It's you know, it's the year of AI. And so of course, now you may have seen this instead of the headline, and you're wondering why am I seeing AI reconstruction Jesus all over the place in my feed? It's because now, yeah, let's take the image of the shroud and put it in and can building upon maybe it's one one look of this or different edits of this and can we right. produce the face out of this because there's that that deep desire of not just the object but can i see can i see the face can i recognize this